Hello, everybody, all over the world. We are live, and it is high GPS time. Yes, cool. So, today, we will look at this thing. Yeah, this crux style kit for the sniper. But before that, you can go to highgps.no. That is our site. It will show you when we are live up in the corner. There, oh, shit. There, baby, I think. Yeah, so do that. Like, the site has everything, the group and everything. So you just go there, highgps.no. And if you ask people, have you heard about highgps? And they go, no. You say, that's the address. <coughs> cool stuff. So while not trying to <coughs> cough on water, let's go into the first replay of this Crocus style uh, kit. So what it is, I'll just show you real quick. Uh, it is this rifle and the Bushwhacker and the Darwin Danger Shield. So we're just gonna be running up here, uh, not seeing the spy uh, behind us. Oh, look at her, like, oh yeah, my sniper! And then the medic just, you know, kills the uh, spy right behind us. But you can't see the mouse, but now you can because I'm a freaking wizard. Look at that spy, he's so dead. Yeah, so we're just doing that. And the way this works is that this rifle, it charges faster than the regular one. Uh, people get covered in Jurati if you hold the charge longer than one second. And that's pretty much it. So now we have an uber sniper using the bushwhacka, getting one kill, he explodes, uh, getting a second kill on the sniper there, uh, and then a fourth kill on the medic, but we're not done, oh yeah, bushwhacka is the best weapon, alright, getting the soldier, and the demo man, and there's a heavy down there, can we get the heavy, yeah, we got the heavy, awesome, everything is dead, and we are the hero, because we're watching the high GPS show, and in case you didn't know, if you get a few kills with the bushwhacker, you get like create every other hit, so, that was pure luck. That was a demonstration of how powerful I can be if you have only crits in a pocket medic healing you. So that is pretty good. So um, one thing about this set is that you need a specific hat for this, which is this crocodile style hat right here. This hat, do you need this? Uh, the hat is craftable. If you use four refined and any of the crocodile style kit gear, you'll get that. No problem. So we just kill the pyro, which you can see died off camera, uh, like in a bad movie or a bad game. And then body shotting, ooh, after I kill the Jurati, yeah, it does more damage that way. It's a very nice way to do that, getting a kill on a sniper. Uh, we're pushing the cart on payload, getting covering him in Jurati, and keep in mind that this sniper is based upon you being able to shoot more than once, because it does not headshot. That's the whole idea of this thing. So we're still uh, pushing here with the cart. Uh, Enemies uh, killing Pyro there, getting Ubered. Uh, Uber Sniper is uh, good um, sometimes, uh, I guess. Um, yeah, uh, maybe not the best choice, you know, for, for an Uber, but uh, sometimes, you know, you, you get what you take and then we get killed by this fucking heavy asshole in the broken class. Yeah, so let's just look at the items real quick. Now I've demonstrated, like, you have the piss shooter, but I can't demonstrate, you know, the, the other one. So we'll just have a look at uh, that here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Where the hell is it? Uh, let's see here. Yes, here it is. Uh, yeah. Yes. So this is what you'll need. Uh, you'll need this, the Sydney Sleeper, 25 plus charge. If you hold the charge for uh, one second, you get Gerardi, no random crits, no headshots. So you do maximum 150 damage or more if they're already covered in Gerardi. Darwin Danger Shield, all it does is 25 more health. Okay, it does not protect backstabs or anything. Just 25 more health. You give up your ability to deal with people close range. And then we have the Bushwaka which uh, crits when it should uh, mini crit, but you're, uh, you you die faster to fire. And then you have this hat that does absolutely nothing, but with this set combined, you can see you cannot die to headshots. And by not dying to headshot, I mean your health goes down to one, and then anything, at, like as much as coughs on you, you die. Um, so you gotta be careful about that. But anyway, uh, let's move on. And we're gonna look at another map, which is Control Point Yukon, which is not a payload map, which we just saw. It's like the control points, like five of them, and you go back and forth to being offensive, aggressive, or defensive, and just camp the entire uh, fucking the game like everybody does on pub servers all the time. But we're gonna look at this. So here we are with the rifle, and we're gonna be running out. Do, 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 do. Yes, all right. So as of right now, there is some business going on over here. So we're gonna do what we do as a sniper, and that is to work the angle. And then you go, uh, 
what the hell is working an angle. I'll, I'll show you what working an angle is. Working an angle is when you have a tight, small space that you can snipe. Like this, you see this square right here? This is a tight angle, right here. So if you just keep your crosshair in here, uh, you'll be pretty much able to uh, shoot anyone that's in this area and you don't have to you know, worry about your, from people coming from your side uh, because I have teammates that I trust and I hope to pray to God that they will uh, kill them before they kill me. So you see, uh, covering the sniper, uh, the other soldier in Jirati, hitting him one more time. Uh, keep in mind, body shots do 40, 50 damage, but with Jirati, you actually do 60 to 70 damage, which is a lot, especially to the other classes such as, you know, Scout and Engineer and other snipers and spies. Pretty much. So, uh, this is not one hit, one kill kind of weapon. It's uh, shoot a bunch of times and hope that guy dies kind of weapon. And uh, you don't have to be as careful as a sniper because, you know, you don't die to headshots, but you're very weak to fire and uh, you cannot deal with enemies close range. So you're, you are a uh, really support sniper in this case. So uh, getting a nice kill on the heavy there. One thing that you should note that goes for any class and any weapon is that if you just keep shooting at people, they will eventually die. Do not go around thinking they're like invincible because it's kind of easy to do that if there's like a heavy on the server and he's doing really well and he's being healed. Uh, but actually he's probably just bluffing its HP. And uh, there we got a good example of running around, not scoping, just no scoping, body shotting. Getting a couple of kills with that. We see a sniper covering him in Jirati. Try to shoot him again. And yes, we shoot him. No scope. And we go on the point and we win because we're so good. Yeah. That's how good we are. So that was a little example of, you know, pushing, going in with your team, not staying behind. Because if you, like, look at the front and you, like, see your team's, like, running around the corner and no enemies are coming, just fucking follow. Don't just stand there and derp back around the base. We don't want people all shagaroon magaroon back in the base, you know? <laughs> oh, I'm a sniper, I'm back in the base, they are looking out for our spies, you know? Like that. So we're gonna look at another map, uh, and the whole multi-shooting, the not just focusing on headshots, because you can't headshot, just shoot him in the fucking body. Just make sure that you hold the charge longer than one second, so you can apply to your body for maximum pleasure damage. So we're just gonna run really fast out here by uh, taking a piss first, and then we're gonna run out, we gotta fill our weapon with piss, you know? Yes! Alright, so, here we see a spy getting him as a dead ringer. Keep in mind that if you shoot him with the piss and he uses a dead ringer, he uh, will be visible even though he's using the dead ringer. So here we go, covering a pyro, using a second shot, finishing me off, seeing the other spy here. Covering him, Jurati, uh, getting a kill on him. And as you can see, he is still covered in Jurati. And now we're on fire, which we're weak against. But keep in mind, anyone that played Pokemon knows that Water is the counter to fire. Yeah, fire weak against water because we play Pokemon. Fucking exploit crashing on me again. Anyway, we're back where we were. And we didn't kill this spy. We just, you know, covered it in PP and now we're gonna hit him. And that's what we're gonna do. And hopefully, exploit will not crash this time. Yes. So we're chasing him, hitting him with the uh, Jurati. Oh, what's this? He go down in water, lost the Jirati effect, but uh, his clock went out and we just whacked him in the ass and he died. Good job for us. So we're gonna run up here. Oh, there's a health pack. Gonna grab that. And now we're gonna stand and look at the wall for a bit. For exactly uh, 10 seconds or so. And then we're gonna jump up here. And uh, we're gonna look at the wall for some more. And we have like some scouts running around here. I'm not really gonna pay attention to those, because we're busy uh, inspecting the wall, not like typing a message to like anyone. Oh, no, Alright, we're back, we're back! We're back in business! Getting a nice body shot on the scout there, keep in mind, headshot. No headshots, don't, don't need to just you know, collect them in the body. However, getting a kill on a sniper. If you do shoot him in the chest, you do more damage than if you shoot him in the foot. So we get a nice kill on the engineer there. Holy shit, a ninja pyro! We're so weak against fire and we die because that's what happens when pyro burns us so that wasn't uh, very good at all well on by us but we ran in by ourselves because our team were busy you know shagarun mega running back in the base and you know how that goes i'm not gonna play that song <laughs> it's called shagarun mega run by el mundo i think so, we're gonna look at some more badassery. Keep in mind, attacking is always good. You always wanna attack. And holy shit, that's a lot of bombs. 
that's a lot of sticky bombs. What are we gonna do? We're gonna fall back, or gonna run over like a bus. We have to... Take a chance, come on! Go! Didn't detonate! There's a sentry behind us! Let's get the sentry gun! Yes, get the sentry gun! There's a scout around us! Let's get the scout! Come on, we got him! Yeah! Shoot him in the ass! Ass shot! Great! Good job, we have a medic here! Ready to push! Let's do this thing! Alright, let's go! Oh, there's a soldier! You don't stand a chance! Spy, get him! Bye, you. Next replay. Uh, da, 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 da. So we're gonna look at some more uh, multi shooting here today with the crocodile kit. Uh, this is where the crocodile. This is where the live button is if you're on the site. So we're still on control point uh freight the five control point map so we're gonna run out to the middle really fast all right so we're working the angle and what i mean is like look at this tiny little dot here if anybody walks in here it's really easy to hit them especially other snipers but what's that are we good against other snipers yeah hell yeah they can't kill us with a headshot and we have 50 more health so they need to body shot us perfectly and we can just body shot them and they will die it's good to be sniper with the crocodile kit so, oh, sniper there, getting him in Gerardi. He was healed. Uh, the enemy team is over there. Gonna stand a couple here. Oh, did you hear that? We heard people getting hit by a bat. We turn around and then we kill this guy with the bushwhacker, and that is a good combination. Keep in mind, if they're covered in Gerardi and you knock him with the knife that we use here, you will do 192, 98 damage, and that's enough to kill most classes in one hit. Uh, especially if they're damaged. So that is hard to do, but it's awesome when you can do it. Like, you apply Gerardi and then you run forward and you whack him with your knife. So I'm gonna have a demo here using the crits. Uh, not that good with the pipes because he fucking misses the entire platform. Allowing me to run over here, and now I'm gonna try and flank him to the side while they were busy with the sentry gun, and thus the spy takes advantage of that. Takes down the demo that was busy with the sentry gun. See the medic here, get a nice pick on him with a fully charged P shot. Let's see if we can finish the job. Yes, getting the soldier as well as we move up. Keep in mind, you don't want to just stand back in the base and just hurt the dirt. You want to, you know, attack. And here comes the pyro, and we're working against flames, and we die again. So hopefully you get an idea of how to, you know, play with this. It's not like you can run out and quick scope people anymore. You run out and just go, bam, headshot, yeah! Uh, you can't do that that much. Um... It's more like camping, kind of, but that doesn't mean you have to stay back in the base and herp a derp. Uh, like, be in the front, be, you know, useful. Because keep in mind, the Girardi effect is meant for, like, you tag them and your friends back. <laughs> Another crash, but it doesn't matter because it was in the beginning of a replay anyway. So let's just continue this stuff and look at some more angling with this sniper rifle. Oh, look at that. Yeah, oh, full screen, that's nice. And watermark! Yeah, I remember everything. So prepared. Oh, uh, let's see here. Yep, everything's working. That's fine. That's great. So we're gonna run out to mid here and we're gonna speed it up. Run, run, run. Yes, okay. So there's a scout here. I'm gonna try and shoot him. Keep in mind, this is a replay so we don't get, you know, the full scope effect. But we see a lot more, so that's good. You also see what I don't see. So uh, we're gonna try and work some angles here. Uh, trying to hit the soldier up on the roof. You can't really do that. It's a bit hard when you hit the container and you have no aim. That's the whole thing about being a sniper. That's also a nice angle. Oh, we have a pyro here. Yes, covering him in Gerardi, and being followed by not being able to kill the guy because the Nomad team made any effort to kill him whatsoever. That's the problem with being a Gerardi sniper. You really rely on your team dying, and that was actually our kill because we no scope body shot the sniper. And no scope body shot sniper is really good against sniper versus sniper. It is actually the counter to sniper versus sniper. Even though snipers counter each other, is kind of countering that kind of. Uh, I'm not fucking with you. That is actually true. So, uh, we see a Demo Man and a stuff on here. Let's poke around the corner here. Oh, nice. Yes, getting a nice pick on the Demo Man there. Killing him with the PP. I'm gonna keep uh, running up, checking our backs. Keep in mind, I don't get stabbed too much. That's because I check my back. And the counter to spy is, of course, turning around. That is good. Oh, uh, did someone jump up there? No. Okay, you gotta keep sniping. Oh, soldier. Yes, getting a soldier and getting immediately killed by a scout. Because in case you haven't noticed, scouts are really good against snipers because they kill you in two shot that tiny hits and they run really fast. So, uh, yes. 
So I was going to show you one that uh, a lot of snipers encounter, and that is that you have tunnel vision, right? But just because you have tunnel vision doesn't mean you're deaf and stupid, all right? You just have, you have to pay attention to your surroundings in order to know you don't not suck. So we see a spy there, uh, covered in piss. We shoot him once. He's using the dead ringer. And uh, we hit him with the bushwhack eye. And then we gotta go... Oh, I lost some health from that scout there. Guess I'll go over here. And yeah, okay, I'm in the scope right now. Alright. Things are cool. Things are fine. Uh, you can see my mouse uh, now. So, you know. So, I, I think I can see what's here. Right inside this. But you can see more. Uh, but in case you haven't fucking noticed, there is a fucking heavy here. And this is probably the stupidest thing you'll ever see. Okay, look at this. It's like, yeah, just sniping, just sniping. The heavy's like, sup, <laughs> And just kills everybody. It's not, uh... Every day I get killed. So, yeah. That is one thing about being tunnel visioned, you know? Because you're a sniper, you're doing that. But you should be aware of your surroundings. Like, check around you before you, you know, scope up and get murdered by heavy that literally walks into you. So, we're gonna look at another replay that I entitled... Fucking invisible scout. It's not that he's invisible, is that my Yeah, you you'll see, you'll see. Alright, so okay, grab some health, we're running back. Alright, we're gonna go out, gonna kill people with this piss shooter, as many people like to call it. Um it's the equivalent of force of nature for scout, I think. You control a lot with this gun. Uh you cannot put out medics out of fire with this gun, however, like you can with the Girati. It's only for it only does damage, it doesn't do anything to your friends at all. So we try to hit this invisible spot. I can't see him, but we can see him. Seeing a pyro there. All right, and here's this. Oh, the scout over there. Oh, this spy on point. Scout over there. Oh, can't land a hit. All right, come here, scout. Come here. Oh shit! All right, get the scout. Get the scout. Come here, buddy. Get the scout. Okay, okay. I body shot him once. Body shot him twice. One hit and he's dead. Just one hit. Okay, team, help me. Team, help. Team. <laughs> okay. Um, let's. Let's watch that again, um, in slow motion, because we can. Alright, so, uh, here is the scout, right? So let's just turn down the time in slow motion, right? Okay, so, this is where we are. We're fighting with the scout, like, no, we're fighting with the scout! Pow! And then we are a team, right? Right here. Okay. And they come around a corner, and they see this. Alright, so we have a demo. Uh, let's see what he sees. He sees uh, the medic. The medic sees us. The soldier, he sees nothing, actually. So, um, then they run. The scout run, like, runs in front of the medic because they're running a line, I guess, so they can't see him. And he's like, whoa, something's going on. The heavy's just like, I can do this, guys. And he kills the scout, and the scout dies. And, uh, yeah, that was the invisible scout. Um, you, you keep in mind when... Uh, so I, like, I've been in the army, and I know this, like, if you're walking, like, as a team somewhere, don't don't walk like this. Because, I don't know if you noticed, but I can't see shit now. Um, generally, like, if you walk behind a medic, and the medic runs in front of you, and he's, like, this close, you don't really see anything. So just, like, if you go like this, oh, I can see, right? like, you know, like this. Have, like, some, you know, room between your teammates, so you actually see where you're going, so you don't have, like, these embarrassing moments happen to you. So here we are, alright, we're a sniper, we're gonna attack. Uh, just had the in in incident with the invisible uh, scout uh, incident. Didn't die, luckily. Good thing it only took uh, one heavy, uh, two, uh, one demo, one soldier, and a medic, and a sniper to kill that one fucking scout. Uh, doesn't look good for the red team. I mean, blue team. Are we blue? No, we're red. We're red. Looking bad for red team. Alright, sentry guns! Alright, shit. Um, gonna get hit by a sentry gun. Everybody sees the sentry gun. What do we do? We say sentry head, just so you don't know. It's like it's like the sun is up and you go like sun. So here's one thing that you should do when you play a sniper at the team is that when you know you have a sniper in the team and you kind of know where he is, you kind of want to lure people out in the open so the sniper can pick him off. It's a very good support role because snipers can often put the last nail in the coffin that you normally can't do while uh, playing team fortress too. Uh, as other classes, because, you know, snipers, like, distance is not a problem for him, as it is for every other class when it comes to damage. 
The control point is being contained. Every class except the sniper has like a fall off damage to their uh, weapons. So we get a nice body shot no scope there. Uh, he was covered in Jurati, does like 60 70 damage, one shot. Getting a nice body shot, P shot on the demo there. And uh, we get a P shot on the Spyro, and the Pyro actually goes down to the soldier as a nice assist there. Just keep in mind, you just want to cover people in piss and not necessarily kill them. Getting a nice headshot on the sniper there, but we can't headshot, but we shot him in the head, and we win because we're so good! Yes! Pink sniper for the win! Piss sniper for the win! So, uh, we're gonna look at another payload card on offense. And one thing you can do with this, if you have a medic healing you with this set, you don't have to be afraid of dying from anything but backstabs, because snipers can't kill you. I mean, they do... Like, if they shoot you in the head, you have one health, but the medic heals you. If they shoot you in the body, they only do 150 damage and you heal back up. So it actually takes a team effort from the other team to kill you if you're being overhealed by a medic. So we'll look at that today, where you can actually reposition yourself and be in really, really uh, dangerous positions when it comes to other snipers being you. Because usually sniper battles are mostly uh, decided about who sees the other guy first and who scopes first. Is uh, like the whole dynamic with that. So we're on Payload Barn Splits uh, map. I hope everybody has played because it's a really good map. I really like it. Uh, so we're just wor you know, working the angle here, staying with the car, and then we just say, yeah, let's go forward and push. And normally, as a regular sniper, uh, you kind of want to spot first. And what I mean by that is that you just run around a corner and look and see what's there, and then you run back, and then you decide if you want to engage or not. So I don't really have to worry about getting killed by these snipers because, uh, as you can see, they shoot like shit, and I've been doing you into headshots. And I have overheal. You can't see that, but I know this. So we get a nice kill on the fucking radius back here using sniper there. All right, so uh, we're gonna go in. And this is very risky. Can you tell why this is risky? Just going around and scope like this. Okay, just look, just look at our like our position here. Right, we're here. Okay. So if an enemy sniper is here, we won't see him. If an enemy sniper is here, we won't see him. If an enemy sniper is here, we won't see him. And if an enemy sniper is here. Uh, we won't see him, and if there's a guy like here, we won't see him either. So just be careful about that if you're not using this set. So we actually just uh, are like a tourist sniper, just spend most of our time looking at the enemy instead of actually shooting. Uh, you know, can't really do anything. Just looking around. Why is this okay? Because we can't die to headshots and we have more health. Pyro behind us, getting uh, shooting in with the piss, and then getting help from a demo man with that pipe there. He goes down into bits. We can do this pretty well. So, yeah, getting a nice body shot on the bow sniper there. We're gonna push the cart. We have a medic with us. Soldier behind us. Soldier goes down to a no-scope body shot. You see how useful those are? Because when you do those, you do not lose any movement speed at all. Making you harder to hit when you strafe and stuff. And it's really useful against sniper versus sniper battles. You have no fucking idea how hard that was to learn on your own. Now we're gonna show you a pretty awesome shot here. Working the angle, working the angle, bam! Shooting a sniper behind the cart that we barely saw. Not sure if you saw, but we're not gonna see it again because, you know, what should we? So here goes a medic on our team, pops an Uber, pyro behind us, turning around immediately. Spencer there, getting knacking the kill from the other sniper and then getting burned to death because we are weak as shit to fire. So yeah, that was pushing uh, with, with uh, you know, the the cart and stuff. So now we're going to look at a more defensive use uh, for this rifle. And what I've mentioned before is like, don't get tunnel visioned. Like, you you probably experienced this, that you, like, there's a sniper, like, like, two snipers, one with a razorback, one without a razorback. You're a spy. You run up, you stab the guy without a razorback, he dies, and he goes, Aah! and then the other sniper, he's like, deaf, and doesn't even, you know, pay attention, and you just shoot him, and he dies. So now we're on the red team defending. And yes, uh, people in the chat ask if I would recommend note scoping body shotting with the regular sniper rifle. Hell yes! Because that is the defining difference between what's a good sniper and a bad sniper. A good sniper only headshots when he has to, to get the kill. A good sniper kills him using the means he has. So if you shoot a guy, let's like say you shoot a soldier in the head, that's 150 damage. He has 50 damage left. If you shoot him in the chest or up, you do 50 damage. So you shoot him in the head, you body shot him once, he's dead, don't need to headshot him twice. But we can't headshot this time, but we'll cover that later. And especially when we're gonna talking about the Machina, you know, the one that you can't no-scope body shot with. 
So we're just gonna do this uh, spotting thing and see that nothing is going on because the gates aren't open yet. Yeah, that's right. So we're just gonna up, 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 up. and this is a trick here, tricky. If you stand here on this map, you can actually uh, shoot the people's legs. They're standing here. And there's no way in hell I can see you. Just thought I'd share that. So. But then we have like this fat Russian fucker in front of us, <laughs> not allowing us, you know, to do anything. He's like, oh, so look at me, I'm a Russian. I'm using Tomislav from distance. I'm pretending I'm sniper because I'm Russian and so fat. Uh, yeah, so you can see, we can see some, you know, legs down there. Everything's good. So we're gonna duck, and uh, right now our setup is uh, sniper uh, medic on top of crate with a fancy looking medigun, and we have some soldiers on the left here. We cover the right side. We have a heavy that should actually be standing here, but he's a uh, pretend sniper. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. That'll go fast. Two, one. All right. All right. So I, I can't see shit. I can't hear shit because that that guy is so fast and he's shooting. So, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, well, I can't see anything, uh, I guess I'll move. Okay, you died! Good! Good! Now you're out of the way. Getting a nice body shot on the kill there, uh, on the, that, uh, Huntsman Sniper. One thing that's kind of dumb, though, is that this medic is deciding to, he's like, he's gonna stand here, and I don't know if you noticed, but you can, you know, tell the healing beam from down here. There's medic up there, and there's somebody down there. When you play, you want to give away as little information to your position, and who and how many is where as much as possible. But the medic's like, fuck that! So we get a body shot on the Jirati covered heavy. Keep in mind, you do a lot more damage when they're covered in Jirati, regardless of how you shoot them. Getting a nice ass shot on the demo there. He goes down, do a P shot in the butt. And uh, we have some people going up over here. Getting another kill on the heavy. Getting hit by an arrow. Seeing a soldier down there. Coming on Jirati. Whoa, how did I know there was a spy behind me? Well, it killed me regardless, but that's not the important part. This is what I mean by listening and not being in tunnel vision and fucking deaf, all right? I'm gonna turn up the volume and you're gonna listen to what I hear. And if you ever hear this, you should fucking turn around and pay attention. Okay. That was two loud screams, a medic scream. So that means, and also some flames. So if you normally don't hear flames, and you suddenly hear like, <laughs> and someone yelling like, help, and then a demo goes, ah, and then a medic goes, ah, you better fucking turn around, because that means there's a pyro and a medic, a uh, spy killing your medic and shit. So just, you know, fucking pay attention. Ugh. Yeah. So uh, one thing you, uh, I can, when I told you, like, if you get overhealed by a medic, you can be really uh, not careful. You can stand in open areas, but you, don't, you know, don't overdo that because then you're just dumb. You know, you have to be, you know, a little careful. You can't be like, I'm king of the world because I'm a sniper and I have a medic healing me. So uh, we're going to be on the king of the hill viaduct. And I'm going to show you a cool uh, sniper spot that I learned from a sniper called Justin, which is a good sniper. Uh, I've only seen it once though. So you jump up here, and then you jump up top of this thing, and then you just go up up here. And now we're the king of the world! Yeah! And we have a medic healing us, so we won't die to other snipers as easily, and we're just a boss. So we're just gonna stand here and camp. The entire fucking game is what we're gonna do. Yes, getting a kill on the demo, but we got, um, like a ball in the face. Got some balls to our face. Getting stunned. And uh, we're still stunned, and now we're not stunned. So let's see if we can get the scout here. Nope. Engineer takes care of that. Standing here still. Uh, doing the sniper business on top of here, having a medic. Don't have to worry about getting stabbed or anything because the medic's watching our back. And then we have a heavy who decides to stand still and be fat and stupid. It's the, the, the guy from earlier, but only he's on the enemy team. Feels good to kill him, doesn't it? So uh, we're looking around, trying to, you know do something, and we notice that uh, nobody's on the fucking point. Trying to get the scout, the scouts are hard hit because they're so fast, so unpredictable. Getting a kill on him regardless because we're pro. Demo jumps up, like, yeah, fuck. <laughs> and then he kills uh, me and the medic and the dispenser because we did not fucking pay attention to him at all. So pay attention, you know, don't get cocky if you feel like you're uh, being good. So we're gonna look at uh, the next replay, which is on offensive 
uh, upward and I'm gonna show you the finishing touch when pushing the card into the last point as a crocodile sniper, crocodile kit. This. <laughs> Yes. So we're gonna run up. Uh, we see a spy here, body shotting him as we run closer. You cannot do that with the Machina. And uh, then we're gonna try and shoot the Heavy. Keep in mind that uh, you know a Heavy's not invincible. He just takes a lot of hits before he goes down. You shoot him first. So we're just gonna keep shooting him. Just keep shooting him. And eventually he dies. So just keep that in mind. Don't be afraid of Heavy. Just keep shooting him until he dies. Um, because, yeah, you know. So we see a sniper on the left there, can't see him because of the scope, he sees us, but uh, he can't kill me because I have a crack style kit and I just body shot him. And he's dead, and there's people behind us are heavy in front, heavy counters, countered by a uber heavy. I have a medic up here, and the devil man's like, fuck that, I used my bushwhack at one kill, oh nice. Come here medic, come here, yeah, getting two kills with the bushwhack, a lucky crit, and another lucky crit. Skills, let's see if we can get that engineer, yes, keep your mind if you kill the engineer first. These die toys will die like paper uh, without him repairing them. Then we're gonna go, yes, we're gonna push the cart. Yes, oh, look at that, the cart's going down. Oh, we're gonna die, but the medic ubers and we survive because we're like a boss and that's the finishing touch. As uh, a crocodile sniper. Yes, very good, very good indeed. So one thing that's also important as a sniper is to don't stay in the same spot for too long. Uh, if you have a choice, if you can stay in other spots, you should do that. Be kind of unpredictable, because unlike the Machina, every other sniper rifle does not give away your position. And like I said earlier, you do not want to give away any information of you uh, uh, at all, really. So uh, we're going to be sni sniping here on Pale of Thunder Mountain on the first, uh, second half of the first stage on these three-stage payloads. So we see the payload down there. All right, so we're scoped in. Uh, there's a spy up there. Uh, Okay, didn't see that was a spy, but we can see that because we got Hax Vision. So we get a nice kill on the scout there. We see another spy and a soldier. PP the pyro. And then we uh, PP the soldier and wait for our team to do some damage. Uh, and then we uh, try to hit the pyro, but can't. We have a medic healing us, so we don't have to worry about getting killed. And if a spy comes behind us, our medic will work like a spotter. Getting another kill on a scout. Staying in the same spot still. Getting a kill on a pyro again. As you can see, this is not a very, you know, uh, predictable for them. For me. Fuck. I, I don't know where. It's predictable because we're in the same spot still, but they're not doing anything about it, so. Keep in mind, as a sniper, you can get denied sniping spots if, like, other snipers or spy, like, cabs your position and goes after you're killing you and only you, then you have to kind of relocate and change your strat, maybe even change class if uh, you're being denied uh, sniping. It's important to note. So we're still uh, holding this position here, and uh, now the enemy team is starting to put on some pressure after getting killed a lot of times. Killing, shooting him with that, and now we're gonna just go for it, you know, gonna attack on defending because good defense is good offense. And the enemy pops the uber, but nobody's around. We see another sniper down there, he's covered in piss. Body shot him once, body shot him twice, yes, he's dead, didn't have to scope or anything, we could run back while doing so. No problem there. It's another sniper and a scout there, ooh, demo man, alright, let's get this demo, get this demo, yeah, getting him. Nice and easy. There we go. Scout behind us. All right. Scout probably gonna come and flank us from the side, around the corner, or not. I guess he's not doing that. So yeah. Again, a question that if it's impossible to know, uh, or possible to know all the sniper spots. Well, there are sniper spots, but the thing is, like, do you know if there's a sniper there or not? That is the question. So we cover this guy in Jurati. Then we're just gonna use the bushwhack that gives crits when they're covering Jurati, hitting him, killing him in one hit. Uh, no real damage. And this is what I mean by being unpredictable, because nobody expects the Spanish uh, Inquisition sniper. So we're just running around, you know, no scoping and then dying uh, to a spy that comes from behind, because uh, we were fucking careless. So, yes. So we're gonna look at the last replay for today. Hopefully this has given you, you know, some idea of how to uh, use the set. Uh, you can be careless around other snipers, and you're kind of uh, how to say, not as lethal, but more supportive, in a way that you should piss on people.
and you don't have to worry about headshots at all. So if you're not that good with aim, but you want to feel useful and you can't really do it with the regular rifle, just stay fully scoped in because you do charge faster and you cover them in piss and you're a hero. So we get a nice kill on the pyro there. Nice body shot because we can't do anything but body shot. So you have a demo here. Keep in mind that if you don't want to do this, you move faster than a demo. So you can just run around and no-scope body shot him until he dies. But we're, we're a boss and we just used the uh, bushwhacker on him again. Which we proved in the first replay, which is really awesome. We have a medic down there. Let's see if we can get some pigs here standing here. Sniper from the back. Uh, nobody really knows that we're up here unless they saw us. And now we have a Machina sniper that gives away a position that he's here. And I'm like, oh, fuck that. Now there are people know there's snipers up here. So we cover him in pits, uh, and then he goes down to the other sniper. Nice teamwork right there. Piss on a headshot, nice, but you do still the amount, same amount of damage as a headshot, even if they're covered in pits, because, you know, that's how it works. So we're going to go over here and drop down and leave the high ground sniping to the Machina sniper that uh, can't really, you know, handle people closer because he can only scope and shoot, not no scope and shoot like we can. So we're going to go there and he gets another kill on a demo man. He goes down, no problem. We're standing here looking around, always moving, not standing still. The spy jumps down, he checks if I'm hacking, but I'm not because I can't see him, but we can. Seeing a pyro there, get a body shot on him, but we're covered in flames, so we gotta fall back to the dispenser, but the pyro helps us by stealing the crit uh, off the flames and shooting it back on the enemy. And then we have a demo running around hitting flies with his sword. And then we shoot the spy with the piss, and he's covered in piss, and we hit him once, and we hit him two, he's using the Dindringer. So then we have, oh, soldier down here, yes, all right, no scope time, no scope time, bam, yes, he goes down, problem, oh, so a spy around here, I'm not sure where he went, do not spend excessive time looking for spies, that's not, simply not worth it, a spy goes down to soldier, we have no idea of knowing, because he might be dead ringing, but who the fuck cares, dead ringing makes a lot of sound if you decloak, so just listen for that. So, uh, yeah, we gotta see another heavy here, I'm gonna body shot him again, you know, covered in pee, -pee and then body shot, that's it. A good way of doing that. So we see another heavy here, uh, and we go down to the heavy! Shit! That didn't go well. Let's see, if the last replay works, that's gonna be that replay. If it uh, doesn't, then we're done. Because I, I didn't check this one. Sorry. Do, 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 do. I guess it works. Maybe. Right. Yes, it works. So we're on control captured. point freight here. And, uh, uh, you know, we did the badass with the uh, opening with the doors, you know, with the sticky bombs, but no stick is this time, so we're gonna jump down here, control point, see what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up. So just sniping with my pit shooter, uh, missing fuck. Oh shit! Oh shit, look at this, dodging the rockets like a boss, dodging the rockets like a boss, can't hit me, what's that? Oh, moving just as the rockets hit? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This is the one thing I wanted to talk about, but I haven't, but I should. So just gonna re rewind a bit, and that is, as a sniper, um, and a scout, and pretty much any other class, when it comes to being unpredictable, don't move unless you have to. So let's find the uh, point of view for this soldier. There he is. That's our soldier boy. So he's trying to hit us, so he's shooting a rocket. We dodge, and he's shooting another rocket. We dodge, and he's standing still. It's like, he's standing still, and then we just dodge right before the rocket hits. As you can see, it's kind of unpredictable, and it's uh, good to do. Is that us? Yeah. And uh, that, that really goes for the mind games when going against other snipers, if you move or not. So we get a nice kill on the spy there. And uh, we duck and we shoot and we're checking if there's people behind us. Because I thought I heard, you know, decloak sound. If you don't use the Razorback, you'll develop super hearing for spies. And spies won't be much of a problem at all. Because Razorback doesn't really protect you. I did an episode on that. People are like, if Razorback is so bad, why are you make a show by it? I did. Razorback sucks. So we're going to fall back here. Uh, almost dead uh, by the enemy team. So we're running back. And now we should piss on the heavy. We should piss on the demo. Everybody's full of piss. Getting a nice double shot on the heavy medic there. And the sound is bugged. So I actually know the heavy is around a corner. So we're just gonna go around there and bam, get a kill on the fully charged medic. Ooh, that was nice. And then the, our spawn gets put up in front, and then people spawn at that door, and the spy gets a nice stab on him. That's very nice. Do, 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 do. People asking in the chat if I do live streams. Yeah, I do live streams all the time. Do, 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 do. Yes, so that's what I usually do. 
So you can just check the website, highgps.no, if I'm live or not. I just do this show twice a week. Yes, so we're still attacking here. Uh, not able to, you know, do much. Oh, the enemy team, or friendly team's there around the corner, right? Let's uh, try to reposition ourselves, because I know there's a good sniper spot on the left here. But I thought I heard something over here, maybe a heavy or something, so let's see if I can see anyone. Uh, didn't go in with the intention to kill people here, just to check if they are there. Also, after the last replay, we can have some Q&A if you guys want. So prepare some questions, and I will answer when this replay is over. Yes, spy here. No scope in him, trying to hit him with the bush rack up, but it doesn't fucking work. So that's gonna sub up today, getting killed by a fucking spy. Ugh. But hey, we did pretty good with that. So yes, that is the Crocostyle set. Uh, not a must, but it's good if you're an experienced sniper and you want to be useful and use it in different ways and you don't want to deal with headshots. So if anyone has any you know, questions, you can do that or else uh, I'm just going to announce what's going to be next week and the week after that. It's already decided. So next show, it's going to be about the Saharan spy set. You know, the Letanger pistol that you shoot and you regain the cloak and then the knife that is probably the least noob friendly knife uh, when it comes to other people because you just they disappear and you turn into them. And it's what new players really struggle. So I'm going to try and help and see how you can deal with that when we see how we play it from that side. And then you use the hat and it makes the cloak sound like really low with the dead ring and every other. It's like literally impossible to hear if there's like shooting going on. And after that, we had a user request from a guy that got his girlfriend to play TF2 by watching me for some reason. Good job there, bro. So, um, yeah. And after that, it's going to be the clinical set. You know, the quick fix, the... Uh, uh, Sol and Wow and the uh, whatever it's called, like uh, the overdose. Yeah, the overdose. Those three. It's gonna be next Saturday. No, next Wednesday. This Saturday is gonna be the spy set. So yeah, send replays to high GPS. Uh, replays at gmail.com. Check out the website highgps.no. Thank you for watching because you're cool and you play TF2, the best game ever. I'm gonna take a break and fix this shit. And then I'll stream live later. And if you're looking at this in the archive, too bad. But you might catch some other stream. Thanks, and have fun. Gay okay, Ben.